Model 972 here with uh, another episode of Channel Talk. This is episode 9. More tech tips uh, coming at you. A lot of information, so if you have to pause it, um, that's fine. <clears throat> yeah, quick update on uh, 1967 Impala. I'm going with the uh, uh, shaved door handles, uh, smooth door handles. Um, it's going to be the reverse suicide uh, Lamborghini doors on this build. Um, like I say, I'm scratch building the, the, the chassis because this car is really long. And uh, I'm just finding it a lot easier for me to build it the way I want to build it. And, uh, you know, you can put something where you want to put it when, with these longer chassis. You can stretch everything out, make it, make everything fit and look like uh, you want it to look. Uh, but we got her in gray primer. We, uh, you know, just got through wet sanding her and uh, putting a, another coat on there. Uh, the color scheme, I haven't decided yet, but uh, as far as paints go, uh, uh, you know, I use rattle cans, I use Model Master, I use Test Stores, uh, the One Coat Lacquer is good, uh, Dupla Color is good, um, Rust Oleum is good, Krylon is good. It, like I say, you can use anything and everything under the right conditions, it'll work. Yeah, that's what I found for for some for special paint jobs uh, I use um, I use this right here it's a top fed spray gun here if I'm gonna mix up a, um, a custom color that you know I just want to come up with off the top of my head and you know mix this color with that color and get some unique uh, custom color I'll use the, the sprayer here and spray it. Um, also, I got another one of these that I, I spray my um, all my clear through. So, um, different types of uh, paints, different types of uh, clears, a lot of different uh, chemicals. Like I say, you got to use your respirators. Be safe. To be safe. Uh, well ventilated areas. All painting I found is trial and error. And, you know, it takes years of uh, painting to build up a skill base on what paints you can use with other paints. YouTube's got a great uh, informative um, thing here if you want to find out, you know, about enamels, acrylics, and lacquers, and, you know, what to not to use, what to use. That's why Check around. A lot of good builders got great videos on stuff like that. And, um, you know, it, it helps you out with your build. One piece of information I'd like to pass forward to all my model building brothers out there is organization is key to multiple builds. I have a journal here, Wicked Wizard Garage Journal Model Builds. And in this um, journal... When I'm, you know, building a project, I'll write down everything that's going on with it. You know, like where I got the radiator from, where I got the bumper, you know, where I, you know, what did I, what I, if it's scratch built, what did I make it out of? Because with so many builds going on, you forget, you know, where did I get that from? What kit did I get this from? What did I make that out of? If you write it down as you go along in your build. When, at the end of your build, when you go back, you can just read, you know, especially, you know, I make um, the final, not the final slideshow, but, well, yeah, when I do the final slideshow, too, uh, if I'm typing in a text, you know, I go, I use this as a reference to, yeah, I did this here type of thing. If uh, it's behind the styrene episode, I'll, like, read off of this and explain, you know, this is the wheels. The wheels came from this kit, you know. The seats came from this kit organization this right here keeps you on track to where you know what you did and how you did it 
If you're building one model at a time, it's not so much because you can kind of remember that. But when you got like over 14 builds going on, on at the same time, this is what you what you need to have on the bench beside you. Is one of the most important tools I've got as far as keeping track of you know what I used and when I used it and 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 everything. So get you a journal and start documenting your builds. It, it'll definitely, um, it's a it's a good teacher. You can always go back to it, and, you know, and and as a reference. Just a quick look at um, this. <laughs> All this I go through and find the right piece that I need. There you go, there's a paper clip, right? So you would take it and, you know, make your hinge or make your forelink or, you know, whatever, your A-arm, whatever you're building. I got styrene up here. I've got brass, uh, aluminum. I've got wood, you know, styrene, ev everything, little bits, pieces. Um, and you never know what you're going to use you know what what you're going to use and for what you're going to use it for but you know when you see it and you you build it and it works q-tips just uh, a, a plethora of scratch building material right here you know to the untrained eye they'd look at this and be like this is just a big pile of junk <laughs> but to the trained model eye all this is like gold treasure you know because you can turn this into stuff that you know people wouldn't even wouldn't even think of wouldn't even fathom but um you know cutters nice little pair of cutters um needle nose um just uh that's the 1967 grill and bumper right there uh, these little fingernail sanding sticks, I use them for sanding um, sticks that are for your nails. Those are great for sanding pieces down as well. Brass, brass tubing. Just um, this whole box right here that, that all this stuff's sitting on, there's nothing but wires in there. That I got from like old VCRs, old electronics, toys, and stuff. I always uh, pull out all the electronic wires, the little red, yellow, whatever, because you can use those for brake lines, radiator hoses, uh, fuel lines, spark plug wires. I mean, I'm always looking for something to turn it into something in one of my projects. And if you go back through the archive, you'll see there's a lot of creativity and imagination in those builds. So that's all part of it. And there's some tape. Got to have tape when you're mocking up, stuff like that. 67 hood, not cut out yet, but it's in primer. Yeah, like I was saying about the guitar strings, being able to use them for different things. If you look at on top of these uh, dual uh, gold-plated carburetors right here, you'll see these little, I painted them uh, Tester's Gloss Yellow, but those are the 009 High E guitar strings sticking up right there in the middle of the um, carbs. So, I mean, you can, like I say, you can just use them for all different types of scratch building on, on your um, piece. And another thing, um, the 1966 Pro Street AMT uh, Chevy Nova, the rear wheels in that kit are the same rear wheels as in the 57 AMT Corvette Gasser. So those are some of my favorite rears to use on builds. Um, this particular, the rims on this one are the Weld uh, Racing Rims. And I believe I got them off a funny car, if I'm not mistaken.